Yeah, hi. Big wrestling news here. I'm filming this on Wednesday. I'm going to upload this perhaps Thursday or whatever. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, very big news or uh, you could say uh, a damaging news. You know, this is this is definitely a big... Uh, so, Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis are basically just... Basically, the higher... Uh, so, higher-ups in general... People who are in charge of WWE, like most, but most notably Vince McMahon himself and John Laurinaitis, are being accused of basically, you know, having sex with their employers or whatever. Uh, let's talk about it. And he was grabbing Coca Cola, drinking Magnesley, and spying me some bitches go, you know, shit. Obviously, with consent or whatever. But you know, here's the thing: if a chick wants to have sex with you, you know, whatever. Just make sure you fucking. Film everything. Make sure, you know, you keep up with the... Keep every information before they freaking accuse you of shit, alright? Cheers. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. Before a serious accusation like this can happen. Okay? So let's talk about this. Alright, so... If I already got a new laptop, it's sexy. I lo I lo I'm in love with my laptop, man. It's fucking beautiful. It's sexy, man. Like, seriously. It's fucking sexy as fuck! You know what I mean there? Okay. It's touch screen, too. Alright. So, Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis are apparently involved in a sexual, a sexual affair with a former WWE employee. It's not known if it's a, uh, like, it was a wrestler or some, like, person who was in, like, you know, secretary, shit like that, you know. Hush money paid. Uh, multiple previous incidents being looked into. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that WWE board of directors are looking into a secret three million settlement with that longtime chief executive Vince McMahon agreed to pay to a departing employee of whom he alleged had an affair, according to documents and people familiar with the board inquiry. A January 2022 separation agreement agreed upon an unnamed woman at the W bars and now former employee who had a, who had hired as a pre-legal in uh, 2019 to discuss her relationship with Mr. McMahon or disparaging him, the people said. The board investigation, which began in April, has unearthed all other older un non-disclosed agreements involving claims that by film, former fo, former female to be employees of misconduct by Vince, Mr. McMahon and one of the highest top executives John Laurinaitis the head talent relations of the DE the people said in the journal couldn't determine how many previous agreements were being scrutinized the three the three million was discovered by board members after a series of anonymous emails from someone claiming to be a friend of Prelegio or whatever. The first email sent to members on March 30th alleged that Mrs. McMahon, 76 year old, was initially hired the woman at a salary of 100 million, but then increased of 200 million, uh, two, no, two, 100,000, now increased to 200,000 after getting a sexual relationship with her. The email to the board has alleged that Mr. McMahon gave her like a toy to Ms. Mc, Mr. Laurinaitis. The board investigation that um, the allegations in the email, the people familiar with the inquiry said, my friend was so scared that she quit after Ms. McMahon and lawyer Jerry paid her millions of dollars to shut up. The initial email, email to the board said that referring to Ms. McMahon, long time lawyer, uh, long time lawyer, Mr. McDevitt, who neglected the deal, according to people familiar with the board inquiry. The company tells WSJ that a relationship were consensual and is corroborating with the inquiry. So, saying that the, con the relationship was consensual. First of all, don't get me wrong. I do feel like it's kind of shitty that, you know, a man... Apparently, you know, cheating on his wife. We don't know. We don't know if this is, like, true or not, right? First of all, don't get me wrong. I do think Mrs. McMahon is not the, lo not the loyal type. 
Because you have to know that McMahon is the man who who's ha who probably had sex with multiple of his freaking chicks. But you have to understand, they probably just throw, throw themselves at them. You know what I mean? They probably just throw, like, you know, like, that's why McMahon is the fucking man. I'm sorry, okay, I know. It's just a lot of people are like, why the fuck you be so happy about this? No, I'm not. But, like, but like you know, he's a fucking man. Like, they're going to fucking throw themselves at him that way. He'll fuck you. You know what? Give her the, give her the title. But you know that's what's gonna fucking happen. Like who fuck? Come on, McMahon's a fucking Chad, bro. He's a fucking Chad. But apparently, you know, she talks in mail. You know, fuck McMahon. You know, he's he's a Republican just like Trump or whatever. You know, the the toxic masculinity of boys will be boys. The you know, get baby pissy. You know all that shit. They'll fucking hate on McMahon because you know anything. Sadly, let's be honest here. Now this is sadly giving the fuel to a lot of anti, to a lot of fucking anti W fans, to basically now bash McMahon, saying that you know McMahon got to get out of the fucking chair, man. McMahon, oh, first of all, let me fucking say why this is now a big issue now. The reason why this is a big issue now is that it seems like the board of directors are trying to get McMahon out of office. Why? Because it's like you're trying to have power. Is that kind of scenario where Norman Osborn, you know, from Spider-Man, got his company, took it away from him? Is that kind of scenario? That's what they're essentially doing. They're trying to get rid, make, rid of McMahon out of power for their own personal gain. All the people in charge. And if Nick Khan is part of it, then screw Nick Khan for that. Because I thought, like, this guy, you know, was supposed to be on McMahon's side. And then, oh, you know, he's supposed to help protect WWE and help make sure that WWE thrives as a business. But it looks like they're not. You know, like, yeah, oh, apparently, you know, you can't trust anybody who, you know, you want to make. This is, first of all, about this whole affair shit, right? Since apparently they're saying it's consensual. No, we don't know. Like, apparently, like, according to both, it's consensual. But, like, yeah, apparently the whole hush deal. I mean, I thought, like, for God's sakes, you know, if it's, like, apparently consensual, why there needs to be a, you know, a hush paid thing? So that's kind of iffy. But, first of all, here's the thing. We don't know that if McMahon is legit guilty, okay? We, we should always believe that innocent until proven guilty, right? And let's be honest here. I... I, I for all we know, for all we know, again, this like this whole bullshit that this could just be false accusations just to get McMahon out of power. This is just some bullshit to try to get McMahon canceled, okay? But here's the thing: how is this a surprise? I'm surprised that this is coming out now. Like, I'm surprised like this shit has a and now this is gonna, this is gonna allow it to be like, oh, you know, McMahon probably raped that bitch like in that spa thing. You know, if that 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 old hell headline that happened, but that's like old. But Unfortunately, now this is a big issue because let's be honest here. You wanna know why the boards are probably looking into this? Because they're trying to fucking get McMahon out of power. So they're basically betraying McMahon for their own personal gain because they're either trying to sell WWE now. They actually want to sell this business and watch. You have to you have to understand that like it or not, either this is true or not, if if WWE if Big Man is no longer in charge of WWE, that's going to change WWE for the worse. You guys think WWE is bad now that how the how TV, how Raw and SmackDown sucks? Trust me, it would get way worse. If because at least with Big Man, you know, like it or not, you know, oh, conservative, you know, he's all he's Trump supporter crap. Like it or not, at least McMahon is a man. He's an alpha male. Okay? Well, that thing, for all we know, fucking, we're gonna have fucking beta male fucking stupid SJW fucking bullshit going on. Like, for all these fucking people, gonna fucking, you know, run WWE, and they're gonna fucking have some woke propaganda, like Disney. Watch, if WWE actually managed to fucking be sold to Disney or NBC, you're gonna be seeing a lot of woke bullshit propaganda crap, okay? Straight up. Even though there's... Let's be honest here, there's already a fucking bunch of woke motherfuckers within WWE. But at least McMahon, you know, it's run by a capitalist, uh, you know, a capitalist business. You know? But unfortunately, we're gonna have some fucking bullshit that you watch. 
If McMahon get, gets, uh, if they freaking for some reason get McMahon out of power, this is gonna lead, lead to bullshit to happen in WWE. You know, I'm looking at this on both sides here, for business sense and also how personal sense. For all we know, okay, first of all, I don't think McMahon is a loyal type. Okay, he has had to probably cheat on Linda McMahon. <laughs> Come on. Okay, but you have to understand that he's a man, a freaking goddamn it. Like, you really think that there's not these chicks in WWE that probably droned themselves at Big Man? You don't think that happened? You don't think that fucking happened? That freaking chicks drove themselves at Big Man that way to freaking, you know, to be where they are today? Come on! Come on here! You, you don't think that happened? Come on, look at Candace Michelle for fuck's sakes. Like, you, you think that was fucking a work? Look what happened, fucking, they do the, they, she threw us out at, at fucking Vince McMahon. But, you know, she gave herself to him. Come on. But yeah, okay, as I was saying, sorry. This is the same time I'm filming freaking while watching freaking Dynamite or whatever. But hey, um, busy shit going on. But you have to understand, freaking... You know, like, you act like, acting like freaking, there was never chicks that freaking threw themselves at McMahon trying to freaking, you know, help their careers. Come on, it, it is happened, you know? Come on, I'm not trying to sound like a, a bad man, but it's the fucking truth. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is definitely something to, in a way, you have to, you have to understand that they're trying to get McMahon out of nowhere. Apparently, this goes back to what uh, Nia Jax said, you know, this fucking fat waddle boar said. He says, it's, it's a shame that some people deserve to get the opportunity to shine like the star they really are. But unfortunately, certain higher-ups could never see past their own perverted ways. Too bad they aren't the lucky ones who use blackmail to keep their jobs. Random tweets. And let's be honest here, that this bitch is probably jealous because she's a fucking fat, disgusting pig and never feel as attractive. Let's be fucking honest here. Let's fucking be honest here, for God's sakes. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but yeah, Johnny Ace, freaking, isn't he supposed to be banging on the bells? I guess, like, you know, you know, I guess that's his own fault because he's fucking dating an old hag, you know what I mean? It's like, seriously, whatever. Uh, but yeah, obviously a lot of fucking AEW fans are happy about this, or fucking, you know, because they're using it as, like, a way to, you know, to hate the man, like, how dare he, he's a toxic male, you know, how dare he, an evil man. McMahon is evil and shit like that, you know? All that kind of crap, you know? And let's just freaking be honest here. Um, again, I'm not saying that this guy is in his, like, whatever. Here's the thing about McMahon. He's not a loyal type. I'm not saying he's a loyal type, and it, it and... For somehow, if this is true that he actually had, had in uh, had uh, an affair with this person, right? I do think it's definitely shitty on his part that he, you know, while being married, he fucking is with somebody, you know, or trying. It's like fucking somebody else. I do think that's pretty bitchy and shitty, you know. I don't condone that at all. But the fact that apparently it was consensual, like their relationship was consensual. Okay, then, what's the big deal in terms of, like, you know, like, but it does make you think, like, why is, like, the whole hush agreement, like, why even pay this bitch this a lot of money? And then, like, she's gonna go on to fucking say, unless she's trying to get money, let's be honest, she'd probably get money, she's probably be a fucking bitch in terms of she's trying to fucking get more money, ruin this guy's career, and also, let's be honest here, since the board of directors are looking into this, right, you have to know that they probably know some shit, and not just that, they're trying to use it as a way to try to fucking take down McMahon so they can get the company on there. That's why. You know, this is a darn shame. Like, McMahon, you know, we would think at least like this guy would at least live to, you know, because this is his baby, you know. This is his fucking, this is fucking the McMahon business. And they're, it seems like they're fucking taking out the fucking people who are in charge who are relating to McMahon. Standing the man left, you know, uh, Triple H... In his heart issue, he's less involved, apparently, you know? 
Shane McMahon apparently was kicked out. Probably not. Or like, you know, apparently, you know, he's not there. Even though he's supposed to be some global business. But apparently he was let go because, you know, like so, someone let go back in January. And now this is probably a way to try to take down McMahon. Isn't that fucking sad? Like these people in this board, this is I guess this is the problem, man. This is the problem when you got you when you go corporate, and you got these fucking shady motherfuckers trying to ruin their business. So they're trying to cancel McMahon. So definitely screw the board of directors. These people who are trying to ruin McMahon and probably trying to make wrestling more worse than ever. Because let's be honest here, WWE is the king is the king of, of pro wrestling. Like you're not. Well, but you have to understand. People say, "Oh, but the AEW better. WWE it sucks." You have to understand that modern wrestling sucks. Modern pro wrestling sucks, and WWE is like a f main focus of that. You know, and it is a showcase of how modern wrestling is. You know, like you're not. It's just not. It's just less indie. You know, but it does showcase the indie wrestling. But to say, you know. You know, fuck McMahon. You have to understand that now McMahon, without being gone, and anyone involving who's like relating to pro wrestling, relation to McMahon, you know, or at least relation to people who actually fucking know the business, and now it's gonna be people of corporate probably fucking trying to do stupid shit with with this company. Like for God's sakes, watch. If let's say Disney get involved, they're gonna do gay woke propaganda and some stupid storylines about gays and shit. Useless fucking same-sex kissing or fucking some stupid fucking non-edgy storyline. It's not even going to do fucking some edgy shit with wrestling. You know, people want edgy wrestling? Ain't going to fucking be edgy. They're going to ruin the fucking, you know, oh, it's going to be fucking all women powering crap. No fucking man being man and shit. That's what you're going to fucking see when fucking this shit goes corporate and it's out of McMahon's hands. They're just trying to ruin McMahon. Let's be honest here. That's what they're trying to do. Fuck the, this whole board of directors shit. Screw them. Screw these people who are trying to ruin McMahon's laugh. Screw them. Honestly, I'm on McMahon's, McMahon's side. I'm not on his side of apparently cheating. But I'm on the side of fucking justice for making sure this business succeeds. That's my thoughts on this shit. Fuck the board of directors. Fuck these people who are corporate trying to fucking... Basically, they're making Norman Osborn out of this shit. They're doing that shit. It's that kind of Norman Osborn, uh, Spider-Man type of crap. That they're fucking taking the company away from it. It's that shit, man. You think this is fucking hyperbole, what Norman did? What fucking Willem Dafoe did? No! It's that shit we're seeing legit. That's what we're kind of seeing. You know? That's what we're legit seeing. And regardless, you know, but guess what? McMahon's a fucking man. Alright? He's a fucking man. He's a Chad. He's a fucking alpha male. He can get the chicks way he wants, you know? And it's consent, bruh. You know, who knows? Maybe fucking Linda fucking got that. You know, he got some fuck. She got some shit, you know? So maybe they all toxic themselves. You know what I mean? But obviously, this is a clear indicator. I mean, I'm not saying that it's fucking shitty on both parts if they're cheating. But here's the thing. This is a good example why you should fucking make sure that, you know, record every message. Record every fucking shit that ha happens in your life. Because shit like this can happen trying to ruin your fucking livelihood. This is the fucking baby that this guy did. And y'all want to fucking ruin it and make wrestling worse and shit? Fuck y'all. Now you don't mess with my baby too. This is my baby, bruh. This is the business we all love and care about. You don't mess with this shit, bruh. You don't mess with it. All right, don't say I'm just keep real. That's all I'm saying. Just keep it real. Get your games, your calls. I need to see it. Always aspire to make some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. That's what Big Man does. Come on, man. Who gives a fuck? Fuck you. But fuck the board of Ed, man. I'm not. Uh, but seriously. And fuck this chick, too, who's probably lying or fucking scun ass. She's probably lying, bro. I mean, if it's true, definitely shit in McMahon's part. But you have to understand the fucking, you know, they're trying to fucking ruin this shit, man. Whatever happened to men being men and shit? Women being women and crap. What the fuck, bro? You should be fucking. Legit, like, I don't know. This shit, this is the fucking world we live in where you can get a fucking false excuse of shit, though. I think this is all from fucking false accused bullshit, you know what I mean? It's all false accused. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, also, oh, it's like white privilege, bad, 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 big business, bad. Fuck y'all if y'all, if y'all happy about this. Fuck y'all. That's what I'm saying. Just keep it until next time. Yeah, bye.